Hi, this is Ray back here with Easy Simple Mechanic. Today we're going to continue working on this uh, Copark trailer. Try and get some of the dents out and try and straighten out that back end so that uh, the door will seal. So uh, we'll just go ahead and get right into that. Okay, so here we, we've exposed this. We've removed these uh, cover that was this it's this cover here that was on the uh, that was on the top here to cover this uh, spring that goes to this door um, also what I did is I went ahead and pulled the door up a little bit and I coiled the same number of uh, turns that were on the other side so that I could get it started on there. And then I went ahead and reeled, uh, let the door down so that the cable would go onto the wheel and got that all back on there. So that's back on there. Also removed this uh, aluminum cover here, which exposes the damage. And I've gone ahead and, and done some hammering already to kind of get that uh, tail light uh, socket kind of straightened out some so I did a little bit of hammering on that without y'all but I don't think you missed anything but I went ahead and pulled uh, that cover off to expose the damage and as you can see there's uh, the weld where the weld is it broke right there I went ahead and took the screws out of the side here so we can expose all that damage and try and get this uh, side straightened out some um, what I noticed was that the um, there's a bar, a support bar right here that goes from this frame over to the next pillar over. That's what buckled the, the aluminum on the side. So when this got hit here, it shoved that in that way and caused that. So when I start pulling, I'm going to go ahead and pull it with, uh, I'm going to try and pull it with my winch. Uh, and I'll sh show you that later on, but I'll start pulling on here to tr get that lined out. What I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to straighten out this aluminum sheet. So if I can get it straightened out, then I'll know exactly where it needs to be when I pull it, when I pull the uh, frame back out this way. Uh, and, and once I get that lined up, then we'll go ahead and put the screws back in it but I wanted to straighten that sheet out first and then also I want to pull this and get it straightened out and I want to grind all that down so that I can go ahead and weld that back up but I've got to straighten this all out here it's pretty pretty nasty and that stuff is that this metal here is really tough I've, I've tried hammering on it I need to either get a bigger hammer or I'm just gonna have to put some pressure on it with a winch while that hammer so that's kind of where I'm at right now I've also started taking off this uh, fender once I get it off we'll try and get it as straight as we can get it so we can bolt it back on but anyway I guess that's where we're at right now um, I'm gonna keep working at this and I'll show you guys any progress I, I don't want to bore you with uh, all the the hammering and the noise and the details so I'll just go ahead and and uh, do some more work and then I'll show you where we're at as you can see this is the setup what I'm gonna do is I have this trailer here and I have my uh, winch hooked up to it uh, right here so that I can try and pull that in and then I have my winch hooked up to the, the trailer hitch on the King Ranch here so that we can try and see if, uh, if we can pull on this. Now I have this thing set up so let's see if, if this winch has any oomph. Okay so as you can see it, it pulled some of that so now we can uh, move it a little bit uh, we'll move it a little bit at a time so let's get it a little bit lower and we'll, we'll pull on that and see what it does see 
every time you pull it's gonna go back some so you got to pull and then uh, pull it past where you want it to be and then let it roll back so uh, we'll just keep doing this until we get this uh, squared away looks like the kink is right there so I'm gonna I'm gonna try that there I'm gonna do is uh, I'll come back to it uh, I'm gonna put some tension on it and get my hammer on it well it looks like that's about as good as I'm gonna be able to get this as you can see that big old gap that I had along this door here is now sealed pretty much up still got to put that cover back over that once I get that straightened out we'll put that cover on there and we'll be able to see exactly uh, what that looks like but uh, now I got everything down there on the bottom uh, pretty close to where I may be able to put some metal pieces there and weld that back in to get that lined out but that's probably about all I'm gonna be willing to do uh, to get this thing uh, where it needs to be I just needed to be functional and hold the uh, the lights in place uh, which is what I needed to be straight for and then that the door seals uh, as best as it can so uh, that's gonna be the next step is we'll try and get that cover back on there straighten some other pieces out and see if we can't button all of this back up okay okay as you can see this is starting to look pretty good We've got all that lined up, and now I can get my lights in there nice and flush. Uh, once we get it all screwed down and get everything in there, then we can uh, see what the final outcome is. I may take some white paint and spray all of the, the dimples on it and, and get that all done. But yeah, that's, that's looking a lot better. Looks pretty straight. Once I get this panel screwed back down, course this corner will look a lot better and uh, it'll just look like a scrape instead of a, a good hit to the frame as you can see uh, I had to install some reinforcement there on the bottom of that panel so I did some welding there um, as, uh, I, like I just said before I don't have a frame puller so I didn't actually straighten the frame itself only the the uh, door frame and then I put some supports between the door frame and the uh, frame the trailer frame so that it'll be nice and sturdy uh, anyway and then I went ahead and I used some of that etching that I used before uh, it's like a, an acid it's a, a prep for rust to keep the rust from coming in and then I sprayed some paint on there. I also had to do some welding here on this little frame here. I guess it popped loose from the accident. Uh, this uh, little angle, uh, I guess th this little angle iron right there that goes along there, uh, it had busted loose. So I went ahead and did a couple of welds there. I clamped that down, did some welds, and then I just kind of hand sprayed some paint on there. I also fixed the edges on this little piece here, this tail piece that goes right here. I put some screws in that and screwed everything down. So now I'm just gonna wait for the paint to dry some. I did uh, do some of that acid prep up here up front and I sprayed it as well. So that rusty old stuff that was over here in the front is now nice and painted. So that looks pretty good. It'll hold the rust down there. Uh, I did use some of that acid prep here. Uh, you can see that that rust there is still there, but with that acid prep, it'll keep from continuing. I didn't want to spray that black. But all of these little areas where there was rust, like on these door uh, handles and stuff, I sprayed some of that prep. I even sprayed some on those 
wheel uh, caps. As you can see, I sprayed some on there. Hopefully, that'll keep that stuff from causing any more issues. So, uh, I guess what's next is we're going to go ahead and straighten this uh, piece out here on the side, this panel. We're gonna take a couple screws loose uh, right up here. We'll take those last two screws loose so we can flatten this panel out. Uh, once we get it all flattened out, then we'll go ahead and, and start putting some screws into it and getting that against the, that panel. Uh, I'll put that other white panel that goes over this uh, door frame. I'll put that in and then we'll just start screwing that in and we'll get this all buttoned up and then we can start working on straightening out this uh, fender and that'll be the end of it. And here, here it is folks, um, the completed product. I got my cover back on after redoing my wiring for the lights. I went ahead and put this cover back on here over the door spring. Um, as you can tell, I went ahead and, and made that little cover there, sealed all that up. So that looks good there. I went ahead and installed my new tail light lenses. I've got the side marker lens on. The, I rewired the uh, fender light and straightened out the fender. I uh, went ahead and, and installed a little bracket right in here because I don't have an aluminum welder, but there's a little bracket I installed right there, so you can see it, um, to hold the corner of the fender. And uh, actually it holds up pretty good because I've been able to stand all the way on it and it, it holds pretty good. Now what I wasn't able to do was get this dent out in between the trailer and the fender because I didn't go that far back on pulling that apart to straighten that out. I didn't find a need to do that. Uh, I did seal the little area that it needed to to not allow water to get in. Um, but yeah, all my hammering marks are on this fender, but oh well, it's pretty good. I mean, it's not new, but I can't complain. Uh, it'll do the job, and since this trailer's going to be used to work, it's going to be, uh, be okay. So we'll go ahead and and close this up. I have some tools in there, so we'll uh, we'll go ahead and uh, and lock that up. There we go. So we got the key on there, and then we'll get this other side on here. There we go. So now we've got both sides. And there's your finished product. As you can see, we got everything kind of straightened out. Everything looks good. Lights all work now. All the lights at the top work, bottom work. Now the final things that I need to fix are just details. Like I ordered a couple of, of bumper uh, or stops, door stops, like that one right there, uh, because the other one is missing. So I went ahead and ordered a set of those. So when those come in, it'll just take a little bit to put those on. Well, folks, I guess that's going to do it for this trailer build. Uh, if you like it, please uh, like, share, subscribe, uh, invite some friends, whatever. And uh, I guess we'll move on to the next project. Thanks for watching.